They want to be in a different place, but we start to get in a spiral of complaining as opposed to a, um, a, a catapult of action. But you got to make some kind of connection plan. If you feel like, again, you're on the outside, it just means you don't have the connections yet, the clout perhaps, to get to that inside, whatever that inside might be for you. Hi there, Jody Bentley here, actor and CEO of Actor Insider and the Actor's Office. And today I want to talk about what do you do when you feel like you're on the outside looking in on this business? I know I felt that way. I know a lot of actors I talk to feel that way. Perhaps you feel that way or have felt that way in the past. I think it's an easy um, thing to feel. Our industry is kind of primed for it. And for me, it kind of stems down to the concept of belonging. And belonging is a huge value that I hold in my life, in my, in my business as an artist, in the projects I want to create. And I, it, it kind of stems from not ever feeling like I belonged somewhere. And I, I, I know that's not a new thing. I'm, again, I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that as well. And, and it was really um, palpable when I was um, listening to Viola Davis's uh, autobiography, uh, listening to her, the audiobook version, which I highly recommend. It was so good. Um, and she talked a lot about belonging and, and she referenced uh, a Maya Angelou quote that came from an interview that she had, had done where um, she talks about belonging. And, and I have it written here in front of me. She says, you're only free when you realize you belong no place. You belong every place, no place at all. And then the, the interviewer asked her, do you belong to anyone? And she said, more and more, I belong to myself. And I remember listening to this and like sobbing. And I think that's so freaking powerful because in an industry that can be unkind, in an industry where we feel like we have to bang down these doors or knock down these doors, we're always on the outside looking into where we wanna be and I wanna be at that award show and I wanna be on that red carpet and I wanna be in those rooms and I, and I wanna be getting those auditions and I wanna be getting those callbacks, but we always feel like we're on this outside and in and, and, and an industry that does that and, and it perpetuates that feeling over and over and over again, there's such power in saying, well, I belong to myself. I belong to myself. And I think first and foremost, when we're, we, we have this feeling of being on the outside, um, looking in somewhere, you gotta find some kind of daily practice. Some kind of daily practice to ground and root in the fact of I belong to myself. Therefore, I belong everywhere. I belong everywhere. Because that feeling, that power you can take into any networking event, agent meeting, audition, callback, chemistry read, whatever it may be. So how can you find some daily practice? And I, I know for me, I get to be intentional about it. I get to be really intentional about it. But a daily practice, whether it's meditation, whether it's EFT tapping, whether, whether um, it's journaling, whatever it could be for you but something to ground yourself in the fact that I belong to myself, I belong everywhere. I belong everywhere because I belong to me. So if you can feel that, it starts to eliminate that, but I'm over here and they're over there. It's like, no, I belong there because I belong to me. I belong there and I belong there and I belong there. And it's just a matter of time until I get there. Just a matter of time. I'm one connection away. And that's the other thing. If you're feeling, again, outside looking in, you gotta make a connection plan. You gotta make a connection plan. You can't just sit at home behind your computer um, and hope to have an acting career. And so many times I talk to actors and I have clients come to me all the time where they're not happy with where they are. They feel like they're on the outside looking in. They wanna be in a different place, but we start to get in a spiral of complaining as opposed to a, um, a, a catapult of action. But you gotta make some kind of connection plan. If you feel like, again, you're on the outside, it just means you don't have the connections yet 
the clout perhaps to get to that inside, whatever that inside might be for you. So you're one connection away, right? But we gotta make a connection plan. You gotta reach out to people. You gotta connect to other actors, writers, producers, production companies. What are you trying to do? What are your goals, right? Where, where do you want to be and who are those people who are could help you get there and who you can be of service to as well. You gotta have some kind of connection plan and constantly be needing new people, uh, meeting new people and expanding your network to be able to get to a new place or else you're just staying in the same place doing the same things. Other thing you can do, throw your own events. Throw your own events and invite people. I've, I've started doing this again for myself. I used to do it pre-pandemic a lot. And um, I have uh, an, an event that I throw once a month. And um, I have, it's for women in the industry and everyone brings a new person in so we can all meet people and get to know each other and be of service to each other. So I throw an event to help expand my network. How can you ex expand your network and your connections? What could you do? Could you host a panel? Could you uh, do more uh, IG lives? Do you have a podcast that you are uh, that you have where you could, again, bring on guests, make connections? How can you make connections and have you throw your own event uh, to do that, to expand your network? Another thing you can do, attend an event once a week, right? Maybe you're a musical theater person in New York, go to the BMI workshops, meet new composers, right? Meet new writers. Uh, if you're film and television and you're in LA, go to We Make Movies. I think they just opened in New York City as well. Go to Naked Angels, find events, go on meetup groups, find uh, events, connect with people. Tell people who you are. Tell them what your goals are. Find out what their goals are. Learn about people. Grow together. Because that feeling of being on the outside looking in, you don't have to stay there. It's a choice. It's a choice to stay there. But you got to get your mindset right to know that you belong. And you get to take action to change that, to get on the inside, whatever that is for you. All right, let me know in the comments what you feel about this, but I think this is a really big topic that we don't always talk about because it's vulnerable to say, I don't feel like I belong or I feel like I'm on the outside. And a lot of times we push those feelings down and we just keep doing what we're doing over and over again and hustling and grinding, but really not moving the needle because we're not being honest with ourselves or taking strategic action to really move the needle. And we get to be doing both. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye.